Welcome to another episode of Recent Obsessions, where we talk about a recent obsession of ours. So today we're going to talk about a Korean reality show called Produce 101. What happens is 101 K-pop trainees, they come together for a bunch of challenges, they do a lot of performances, they dance, they sing, and whoever makes it to the end of the show and gets voted into the top 11, they get to debut as part of a super girl group. So ever since we started watching it, it's like all we can talk about. Um, neither of us are really into K-pop these days, but um, after watching this show, we keep rewatching a lot of the performances, we really like a lot of the songs that, that were performed. We learned she, the songs pretty much. She did. What do you do? Cool stuff For me in the past, I've only, only seen reality shows such as American Idol or The Voice. Um, but they're more focused on the vocal part. But what I, what I like about Produce 101 is on top of vocals, the girls also need to dance really well. They had to look cute and pretty and sexy all the time and on top of that there's a lot of girl drama involved which makes it hella addicting um and for us we haven't actually well we've seen all the episodes except the finale so there's no spotters who, who actually finally debut so some of the trainees were heavily featured on this show but those weren't the ones that we were rooting for yeah um which ones did you like well, actually, one of them I was rooting for at the beginning, um, like Kim, Kim Sejong. Um, but towards the end, I just started liking other ones because maybe they were more featured compared too to the mainstream. others. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess they're just too popular. I don't have to help them. Um, so my favorites are Chongka, um, Yong Eun, the one from K Conic, and Shin. Shin is. Actually from Hong Kong. Right, so um, my my favorite was Kang Shi Won. Uh, and uh, I, apart from that, I, I mean there was Shin because we were, we're all from Hong Kong, so we just have to we have to support her. Apart from that, it's just kind of like really obscure um, trainees like uh, Kim So Hee, uh, not the actress girl, but the other one. Who, who had a similar name, and then there's a Park Si Yun who I don't <laughs> I don't remember what this one is. Um, so Kang Shi Won, my topic was the she was the sort of leader of the oh group the F. F group right right yeah she was the one who was trying to help everyone, and she she seemed really nice because you know everyone was in a tough situation, but she was just trying to trying to help others, and um, I liked her. And then uh, Shin, like we said, we're all from Hong Kong. I we, we watched some of her for her um, music videos even before she was on the show. So he did. Yeah. He introduced me to Shin actually. Um, that's how we actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's why how we started watching, watching this show because, because she was on it. Yeah, um, it was in the media, so yeah. we were like, oh, let's take a look at the show. And then Kim So Hee, I just think she she looks kind of cute. She's like a little I don't cute think little so. girl. <laughs> And then uh, there's a uh, Park Si Yun. She was the girl who was uh, she was from Pledis, and she was a she's supposed to be a rapper, but then she sang like the high parts. She's the one who did that. I don't remember. And then she did really well, even though she was supposed to be a rapper. So. <laughs> For me, uh, I think my favorite are, are just those who presented themselves really well visually. Because I mentioned so Chong Ha, um, she's actually the really really good dancer. So I guess she really jumped to become really popular when she did the bang bang performance. Because she pretty much choreographed the whole thing and it was really really cool. Um, and with uh, the K-Conic girl, uh, Yong Eun. Um, 
again, she's really visually pretty. She has really, really light blonde hair. She dyed it, obviously. Um, but then I just like looking at her. Yeah, I mean, and also she, ha she at the beginning, she gave on this really hip hop vibe, like rapper kind of thing, street style kind of vibe. But then when she had the performance, some of the sexy performances, she, I don't know if you remember, but like, I just like looking at her because she looks so hot. I think. Like for the other like rapper girls in the show, they were like they had like short hair, they were like they weren't like like for this girl she's also pretty, right? Yeah, really. The other ones were like I guess more like boy ish. Yeah. So, yeah. And then she I think she stands out like she looks different from the other girls. Yeah. So there are a bunch of performances and most of the songs were from other groups, but there were also some original songs that were made just for this show. So my favorites were uh, At the Same Place. It's the one where they, they wore the purple, purple, dresses. purple dresses and then they did the girly song. The annual annual Yeah, yeah. and um, I just think that whenever they have uh, Yoo Yun Jung in the group, she always carries the vocals. It always sounds really good. So, so good. Yeah, she's really good. <laughs> I liked Fingertip, it was really catchy. And uh, I also liked Magusta too. Magusta too. I like the one with Han Hyeri in it. She's the girl who, who sounds like a little, a little kid basically. I liked Hot Issue as well. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, the one with the doo doo. Yeah. It was so and, cool. And the, the song was really, really catchy too. Yeah. So, uh, we watched some of the performances by Four Minute. Yeah. And I think we liked the the cover from Produce One Hundred One a lot better, more, more than the, yeah, the yeah. original. Yeah. So which ones did you like? Um, for me, I I liked more the the song that were originally from other artists. Um, one of them is the Push Push song. Push Push Baby Yeah, well, I like the one with Shen in it and Chung Ha in it because they're my favorites and then it just looks really good because they dance so well and, and it's a catchy song with like, it keeps playing in my head. Um, and another one I like is when I was still sort of rooting for Sejong. <laughs> yeah, the, the irony song. The irony. I don't know who's saying the Wonder Girl saying it, I think. Yeah. yeah um, and because Sejong is really, really good vocal, so she performed the song really well and she was also dancing really well and like, looked really cool and sexy. So, I mean, that performance I really like. It's actually really sad because for that performance, I think. The center, she oh, yeah, wasn't yeah. featured wasn't, in the show at all. It, it, in the performance at all, like she wasn't featured in the show, the show at, all. at all as well. Like yeah. nobody would know who she is, even though she, you know, she was the center for that. Yeah, yeah. Because usually when you are a center for the performance, yeah, you're, you're like, supposed to get a lot of focus. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, the focus was on Sejong. Yeah. So, any last thoughts? Well, for me, I'm just really, really impressed with these girls because compared, like, compared to the showmanship in Hong Kong, um, it's just a totally different level. Like in Hong Kong, it, even the singing is always already not so great, in my opinion. But then for them, they really nail it down in all aspects, and and especially the performances. Like you would think they just move from one corner to another, but during this time, there's actually ten dance moves involved. Like hand like this, hand like that. Like this. Like, which is, I think it's just so hard to remember. And it's just crazy that they can learn it in such a short time. Now, what about you? Yeah, I agree with that. But I think that the industry really has the formula down. 
they really know how to get people addicted, yeah. whether it's the shows, the types of performances, the way they, they um, show their, their performers. I mean, even right now, I, uh, I follow Kang Shi Wan on Instagram, <laughs> and uh, even though she got eliminated, yeah. and apparently she got picked up by a, a new talent agency, so I know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and now we all follow all, all different ones. We all follow 101 in one go. Thank you for watching this video. If you've seen the show, let us know which trainees you liked in the comment section below. And if you want links to see the show, private message us and we can send you a one, the one with the English subtitles. Right, so please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time. It must be really horrible. <laughs> I cannot imagine.